And I said, ooh I'ma get a half of the town in a mood We be throwing out this in Kalamazoo Thinking I went platinum the sound of the room And people gonna be tracking me down with the truth Good morning I am in a rush It smells like farts in my rental car And I don't know why I need to go buy an air freshener Anyway I am headed to the ski slopes. It's really cold in here. I just checked out of my hotel. It's about nine o'clock. I need to be there by like 9.45 and it's almost an hour away. Because I've never skied before, I'm doing this beginner's course. I'm really excited. And it starts at 10.30, but I have to be there like 45 minutes ahead of time. I forgot to mention, the sun rises around nine o'clock, which is so crazy. This morning when I woke up around seven, I kept looking out my window and I'm like, oh my God, it's so dark. It literally feels like it's five o'clock in the morning. The days are really short. There's only about nine hours of sunlight. So the sun goes down around like five, 5.30. I feel like a lot of my activities have to be super early. I will catch you guys on the ski slopes. driving down Seward Highway right now and let me just say this looks exactly like Highway 1 in California but just snowy it's mountainous there's water on the other side of the highway it's a two-lane highway it's amazing I just wanted to say that okay bye I put my snowsuit on surprisingly not as cold as I thought it would be I mean it's definitely cold but I thought it would be like below zero definitely fit before I left. My backpack, my helmet. <laughs> Bring this coat just in case. I'm ready. Just got my ski boots and my skis, my holes, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm out here. This is called the magic carpet. I'm almost done with my lesson. It's actually not as hard as I thought. I used to ice skate, so it's kind of similar. drove two hours out in Seward, currently at the grocery store. Well, the cabin that I'm staying at is a cabin, obviously, so I need to get groceries. So I just pulled up to where I'm staying. It's so dark. I hope this is the right building. I got a special code on my phone. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour in the morning. But as for now, I'm kinda creeped out. Okay.
I wanted to show you guys this little book that was here when I got here. Basically, it is kind of like a book where guests sign and write little tips and add pictures about their experiences. It makes this place even more homey. This person added photos, talked about their experience. They put the date at the top. It's just so creative. This is the cutest thing ever. I never even explained to you guys where I'm staying. So this is called Salted Roots. There's a bunch of cabins in this area that are a part of Salted Roots. It's pretty much like the tiny homes that I went to with getaway homes, but way bigger. You book online and then they'll give you either like a code or a key to get in and then that's it pretty much everything is on your own you can contact the front desk or concierge via text message or you can call them they're always on call there were a lot of things here already when i got here like books and games because there's a full kitchen there were utensils and things like that that i didn't have to obviously go out and buy but i did go get groceries as you saw i made breakfast this morning when I woke up, I looked outside, well, later on this morning. Once the sun rose, I can't even begin to describe the view and where exactly this cabin is located, pretty much on the water. When I was driving in last night, it was super late so I couldn't see anything, but it just, it looks amazing outside. So I'm gonna do less talking and I'm just gonna do more showing. I'm gonna show you guys what's outside. sauna outside and I don't know how to use it but I'm gonna figure it out I have these directions here it says I'm supposed to pull this out and empty it okay now I have to turn it on how do I turn it on this is where Common sense comes into play. How do I start the freaking fire? Okay, I need to move quickly because I don't want the sun to set. So what I did was I got some matches from inside and some paper. There's small wood pieces of wood in there. So this is what we're going to do. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. See my breath. Am I slow? Why are these matches not matching? <laughs> okay. We got something. <laughs> we got something. Okay. <sighs> I hope it stays. I hope it stays. Okay, Kristen. 15 minutes for it to get hot and toasty in here. Whoa, I should... Okay, the fire was getting out of hand. So, we got that started. Little titty titty. I'm gonna go inside and change. Hopefully this fire starts firing more.
haven't even verbally said anything on the vlog for like a day or so. Yesterday was a super chill day. Usually when I travel, I feel like everything is still like bang, 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 gotta go here, gotta go there. But this is such a different trip for me. I guess because I planned my days a bit differently, I knew that yesterday I was gonna be doing a lot of content for like Instagram and TikTok. I kind of made it like a day of rest where I didn't go anywhere. I went to the grocery store to get more food, but I pretty much chilled all day. And I tried to work the sauna, did not work. Um, I was freezing my butt off outside, but I still got some pictures and videos. Today was kind of like an easy start. This is probably really ghetto, but I wasn't trying to waste money. So what I did, um, I cooked up the rest of my food. Like I had like a pack of bacon, the turkey bacon. I had um, mad tater tots. I had mad waffles and I just cooked the rest and like put it in foil and packed it away. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't gonna throw all that out. But yeah, I'm headed back to Anchorage. Then I will be in Girdwood on Friday, which is tomorrow, where I'll be going snowmobiling and seeing glaciers and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Check-in is at three o'clock and I should be there by like three. So it's a two hour drive. So let me just stop chit chatting. I feel like I'm talking a whole lot so I haven't talked to y'all. I wanna let you guys enjoy this, this view. I want you guys to see what I'm saying. is not as good I am back at Anchorage I booked this hotel super last minute I wanted to book something that was cool for my last two days but I couldn't find anything and I figured like let me just book a random Marriott or something and I found this hotel and it looks really pretty online but now that I'm here it's a little sketch I don't know if they have weirdos that come around here but it's giving sketchy vibes and I've worked at hotels so I know sketchy vibes I've worked at hotels in New York so, double locked by door. The room is cute. It's, you know, basic. It's about nine o'clock now. And I need to run to Target. Target's like up the street. My freaking tripod snapped in half. Well, the top of it like snapped off, but it snapped very evenly. So I might just buy some super glue and glue it back on. It's the bottom half. So all day, it did, this happened yesterday. So all day today when I was trying to take pictures, it was such, it was such a struggle. Literally such a struggle. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Target. I'll probably catch you guys in the morning. Toodaloo. Morning, friends. I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I made last night. I'm so excited to go snowmobiling today. I packed sandwiches. They said pack food and stuff. And also, the super glue worked. I'm so happy though. I wish I had bought it sooner. But yeah, this top, this whole top piece was off. Look, it's like magic. Oh, it's still a little wet. Okay. But it worked. It's definitely on here. I'm going to pay attention to the road. I'll catch you guys when I'm there. On my snowmobile. You can see I'm recording with my phone. This is my ride. My hands are already freezing. Luckily, the handlebars, so I have my gloves, but luckily the handlebars are heated. My nose is running already. Should have brought my mask. 
Water starts spiraling out of control, trying to find an exit hole. Well. We're back. Okay, it is now almost nine o'clock. Today was super eventful and so tiring. After I got back to my place, I knocked out. Now I'm headed to dinner. I was trying to go to this soul food spot that had like catfish. They're closed on Thursdays. I'm walking to this spot called the Glacier Brew House. Apparently they have really good seafood, so I'm excited. I haven't had seafood since I've been here. I've had sushi, but that's different. It smelled like crazy last night. Good morning, friends. I'm eating peanut butter and jelly again this morning because I'm not about to waste the loaf of bread that I bought. As you guys can see, it snowed like crazy last night. I'm headed to the Wildlife Conservation Center. It's basically like an outdoor zoo. You pay a small fee, you drive through, you get to see the animals. It's only like a two mile path. So there's other packages where you can like actually touch the animals and stuff, but ain't nobody got time for all of that. My flight is today, and then I have to purchase some souvenirs. I might go back to that gift shop that had the rabbit furs. Did I show you guys the rabbit furs? I don't know, I bought rabbit furs yesterday. But I wanna get some more. I wanna buy some gifts for my family. My drive is about, it says an hour, but I can probably get there in 45 minutes. There's nobody on the road. But the roads are kind of slick, so I have to be careful. My flight is not till 5.30. I will catch you guys at the zoo. Got some coyotes. Hi, hey, buddy. Can I wake you up? Guys, I'm literally the only person here. These animals are pretty friendly. I'm over here in the area where the bears are, but they're hiding. They won't move from where they are. They're all in the corner. I don't think you guys can see. I feel like all these animals are just hibernating, trying to hibernate. Okay, these little guys are much closer. Look at the little tags on their ear. Peeing. Is he peeing? Look how wide his legs are. Look at that stance. Okay. I'm rushing back to the hotel so I can grab my thing. So I guess this is me closing out the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. I always say that, but Alaska was really a blast. I will definitely be back. It's just so beautiful here. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.